How's it going you wonderful people, it's Jay and in today's video we're going to invite you over to our island for one big fireworks and fashion festival. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. The August update for Animal Crossing is absolutely incredible. You can back up your island for the first time just in case your switch falls in a river. You can hop in a bed and visit so many incredible islands around the world with Dream Suite. But most importantly, you can have your friends around for one big incredible fireworks celebration. And we did just that on a recent stream, so here's what happened. So originally the plan was to fly everyone over and have one big incredible party. But an hour before showtime I remembered you can customise these fireworks. And so when you have friends around you have to go all in with the entertainment. So we whipped out the custom design app and brewed some classic Nintendo sprites very last minute. And with these, the best approach is to use a 2x2 brush and then bring up one of those classic 8-bit sprites. And as long as your sprite design is 16x16 16 16 pixels, it should fit into the Animal Crossing editor just perfectly. And don't forget also to use the transparency fill on the background to make sure those fireworks pop in the sky. And here's what the sprites look like in action. Aren't they beautiful? It's so nostalgic and so much fun to see all the designs popping in the sky every five minutes. So with the show all set, it was time to open the gates and have friends round. And this is where all the fun began. It's a wild celebration of lights, sparkle and just so much fun. And who can say no to a nighttime festival? You can speak to Isabelle and she'll give you a little glowing head bopper that'll fit your look perfectly and it's just so cute. If you've got some cash to spare, then head over to the, the slightly sneaky red who will give you an item for a kind of steep 500 bells. But it is so, so worth it because the items are just fun. There's little handhelds like these little fans that you can bat about. You've got coloured balloons that you can run around with, sparklers and even explosive dynamite. Make sure you have your camera out for all of these though, as they do run out a little bit too quickly, because Red is a bit of a sneaky little The whole festival is just so much fun. You can run around with your balloons, your glow up bits, you can take photos, and embrace the excitement. It feels like a proper childhood throwback and nothing quite beats the fun of a fair with your friends. I just feel a little bit sorry though for poor Nook who sits alone in his office gazing out at the stars from inside. But before you get all your friends on, make sure you set up those key hotspots for your fireworks as well. We had a few key areas on the island. Some were a bit unexpected, they just happened naturally. You can have a pier by the cliff side or maybe a bridge by the sea. Anything goes as long as you have a good view of your horizon. And even simple things like just standing around huddled together on the beach at night bopping balloons is weirdly so much fun. I don't know why I find this funny, but I do. There we go. And after the fireworks celebration, it was time for a fashion show under the stars. And what I didn't realize was that the fireworks continue throughout the night and it makes the perfect backdrop to showcase all your incredible outfits. And here are some awesome highlights. We had some incredible designs on the night, from an Indiana Jones inspired look from Darth Browner, to an adorable Kiki delivery service inspired outfit from Miss Petch. Sock Kitty brought out this amazing futuristic cyber look, and Justin with this half psycho design. Leo brought out an awesome villager on villager look, and it was super meta, I absolutely loved it. And Darth Browner's incredible Team Rocket design was full of venomous power and Fliss's heroic power outfit was there to balance out the action. Miss Petch brought out an incredible adorable peach look and Sockity brought out the classic Capcom vibes with an amazing tribute to Phoenix Wright. No objections here! The winner of the night was this incredible 90s inspired design for Miss Petch. Absolutely incredible and well deserved. There were just so many great outfits and there's even more fun under colourful fireworks. So if you're planning on doing a fashion show, do it on a Sunday night because it is absolutely magical. Have you held your first fireworks celebration on your island yet? What do you think? 
let us know with a comment. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more Animal Crossing geeky and gaming videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And we will see you wonderful people in the next video. Bye-bye.